make sense of. It makes sense to be together, standing for love in the face of fear, belonging in the face of bigotry, justice in the face of oppression. This is a moment to pay attention. Over the next two days, we will not choreograph the perfect dance from where we are to where we want to be, but we will form the critical connections that allow us to walk that path together with love and courage, knowing that within us and among us, we have what we need. Thank you and welcome to Culture Show. Marching up to freedom land. Today we are launching the USDAC's cultural policy platform, Standing for Cultural Democracy. It's a vision of the future we've made up in cahoots with countless citizen artists and the lovers and fighters who came before us. It's also a call to survive and thrive through collective, strategic action in every nook and cranny of the nation. So what is the state of our union, and why do we need to shift cultural policy and action? Not like y'all don't know. Love is what we need more of. The traditional roles of culture bearer is to be able to make sure the practices of your culture, the legacy of your community, are able to continue to permeate and be able to be translated into multiple iterations throughout and across time. I'm accountable to, to the youth that I've been chosen to, to work with. My main teaching point is that your voice matters and your story matters. Being a part of Culture Shift, it just reaffirms everything I want to pass to the youth and everything that I'm personally passionate about. Being at this conference almost feels cosmic. Being around so many like minds, being around so many people who are involved with youth or who are involved with teaching the arts or performing the arts or see it not as some sort of extra or extraneous fact of human existence, but see it as the fundamental reason why they're here, that's a gift. Whatever engages the whole person, body, emotions, intellect, and spirit, the work that braids pleasure and purpose is the most powerful, the most sustaining, and the most likely to accomplish the great awakening that is needed now. Look at me. It is really about expressing our heart and what we believe in and our value and the ethics and the foundation of our society. And art can do it so readily and so many artists can become the agent of social change. There's power in being able to sit and talk and converse and break bread with each other and to share where we've been and what we've learned. And I want to take back the sense that that's a real tool for people to connect and to shed whatever fears and doubts that they have about who they could be and the possibilities of what they could become. We are the only beings on the planet who have the power to make something from nothing. People. You know, we may not have money, but we do have the power of creativity. We do. And we're the only ones who can do it. We're the only ones who will do it. Oh,